Clay and I have always liked to get our kids out in nature, even from a very, very young age. And one of the great ways to do that is just going out and taking a walk. And there are some fun things that you can do while you're out taking a walk, and that's one of the things that we're going to be doing today. Too dry up here to make tracks. Finn here is the master tracker and so we are out here trying to find some fun animal tracks and when we find them we are going to be using some plaster material here to make a cast of that animal footprint. Now you don't need many things to do this craft. Um, the only things that you're going to need is some rings made out of cardstock that we just taped together. This is going to allow you to put this onto the ground and pour your casting material in it. You're going to need something to mix your casting material up, some water, and then you are going to need your plaster. Now you can buy this at any kind of a craft store or on Amazon, but the stuff we're going to be using today is a dental plaster and it's really easy to use. You're just going to make it to the consistency of pancake batter. So we're probably going to be using about a cup and a half of your powder mix. And then you're going to be adding water just a little bit at a time. Then mix it up. Yep. And start mixing. And so you want to mix it up really, really well so you don't have any kind of clumps in it. So when you mix this up, make sure you scrape the sides really good. Because that will clump up on the sides. So it's about the consistency that you want it. First into the track. Mm -hmm. Now we get the whole track. Mm. The rest of it. Alright, so we're just going to leave that here. It takes about 30 minutes to dry. If you're in cold, wetter area, it's going to take up to a couple hours. But we're pretty um, sunny and warm here. So we'll probably um, come back in about an hour and check on this. we got a couple more stops we're going to make, see if we can find some tracks. And then we'll just come back right back around and grab this. Now this is a project that you really can do anywhere. You don't have to live out in the country. I mean, even if you're in an apartment in town, you can make these type of prints. All you have to do is just take a walk on a local bike trail or a nature trail, um, a city park. City parks are great. If you can't find anything there, look for a water source, you know, a pond or a stream, a river. All animals need water and so they go to that water source and you can find some really great tracks around a water source. So when you're looking for a track, you need to look for a really good indented track. You want to make sure there's not rocks and stuff like that in it. You don't want it to be too wet, but you want good track, a really good indention. It can be wet, like this ground that we're on here is wet, but you don't want it to be super wet. And you also don't want a really shallow, dusty track because when you pour that plaster in there, it's just going to mess the track up. Fall on the ditch right there. Oh, there's a track, I think. Yeah, I saw it. Oh. So much there, see that? Oh, what's that? You see that? That's a deer that's walking, stepped right there, and walking up. Maybe. You're the master tracker, not me. Here's your spoon, baby. Thank 
Oh, there's a track right there. I can't really stuck in here. Oh. oh yeah, it's a deer track. I think it's lost. It's a deer track. But if you look, what else do you see? What do you see from there? Down, through, and over there. What do you notice? What do I notice? Mm -hmm. uh, a trail? A trail, that's right. Deer coming from that. Down and back up to that side. Try to put your finger over the bottom of cover up the hole. Ooh. The hole. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Little tiny bits at a time. What's that smell? I smell fish. I do too smell fish. Don't you know? We don't have any fish here, so. Alright, so look at my fingers. I have good pancake batter here. Pancake batter. <laughs> pancake batter, yep. Alright, so pour it in. Say ah for the tick. No? Oh, I said huh. Here it is. Ah, yeah, there you go. Turn it off it. Can't see it very well right now. <laughs> okay, this one should be easier to get. Be good. You have to, you're supposed to let it dry before, and then tomorrow we would go and clean it up. I think it's gonna be a cool one. Mm -hmm. This one's deep. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Yuck. Pretty cool. How many more we got? One more. One more to go. If you have any more, they're not going to be able to fit in this thing. Alright, so we just finished this up. We went out there and um, grabbed these. They sat there for about probably an hour to dry. But now that we have them like this, they're still covered in mud, but you don't want to do anything with them at this point. You just need to let them dry for 24 hours, and then you can get a scrub brush and just clean them up and make them look a lot better. Right now, the plaster that was sitting on the ground is not completely dry. It's if you start trying to scrape it up, if you start trying to brush it now and clean it, you're just going to scrape it up and nick it a little bit. And so we're just going to wait till tomorrow and then finish this up. There's the duck, the raccoon, the coyote, the pig, and the deer. Did you have fun doing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Which one do you think is your favorite? I think the, I think this one. The coyote. The coyote. Mm -hmm. I think this one. I think this is a raccoon. It's got five fingers. Five little fingers. Five, yeah. So I think this one's going to be my favorite. So you don't want to mix your plaster up before you find your track because if you mix the plaster up and then you head out to find your tracks then it's going to harden. So just take your plaster and put it in a you know a little baggie or a container and then your water and then when you find your track you can, you're able to mix that up and just pour it straight into the track. So not only is this a fun thing just to keep kids occupied but it's pretty educational too. It's really a fun way to introduce kids to wildlife and what is living in the area around your house. A lot of times you don't think about those things because you never see them but when you're able to go out into the woods and then find these tracks and look at the habitat it was in and then come back and then you know actually have this print to see it kind of makes it more real for kids to see that oh this animal was actually there and then once you find these tracks if you don't know what they are it's very easy to get online and, and identify these or if you have an animal identification book or a tracking book you're able to look these up and then find out what kind of animal it is 
and then even if you wanted to do like a little homeschool unit on it you could find out about you know what type of animal that you have and then actually learn about that animal you know what's their do they migrate you know or do they hibernate you know what do they eat you know what do they what is their territorial range things like that you can find out all sorts of things once you get one of these tracks so if you want to see more videos like this make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when the next one comes out we've been out in the woods for quite a while i think we're going to head on in and have some lunch and we'll see you on the next video and our lunch is pizza.